All right, guys, today's video is about End4. So End4 is a pretty cool uh, hyperlint thing. I'll show you just one sec. As you can see, uh, it's on a GitHub, and it also has an install script right there. Uh, it's got notable features like an overview that shows open apps, type to search, calculate, run. It's got AI for some reason. I hate the AI thing. Auto-generated colors, so if you change your background, the colors change in your panel. We'll show that in a second. Uh, transparent emulation. Every command is shown before it's run, which is interesting. Uh, there's your script. Okay, you grab this. You basically run it in the terminal, and you're good to go. Uh, here's an image of all the cheat sheets. I just woke up. And uh, the software overview... So it uses Fuzzle for the clipboard and emojis, AGS for this thing right here and all the widgets attached to it. And it uses Hyperlint, of course, as its compositor. Yeah, it doesn't matter. There's the notification system. This thing's really kind of trippy. The only problem I have with it is I'll try to show it in its original state here because I did edit mine because I didn't like it. Is this thing. Uh, the corners are absolutely horrendous. They just, they're just weird, and I don't like them, so I changed mine to be floating and stuff. But, as you can see, there's some unsupported stuff. Like, uh, this one was pretty cool. Everything is just shoved right here in the center. Uh, hybrid was pretty cool. I wanted hybrid, but again, it's unsupported. And then there's windows, so you can make your thing look exactly like windows if you need be. Which, I gotta admit, is pretty cool especially for those who were just beginning it's pretty cool all right uh, let's exit out and show you some stuff so if we click here there's tools as you can see there's stupid anime uh there's apis there's the real tools the stuff i really wanted to show you so there's conversions and stuff uh there's Update packages, change screen resolution, quick scripts, uninstall, unused flat packs, removed orphans. And over here, what is this button? I don't even know what this button even does. I believe this is like a game mode. Yeah, this is a game mode. This is caffeine right here. Uh, this is supposedly, I guess, supposed to be like a nightlight or something or lighter dark mode. I have no idea. It's really weird. And of course, you got your welcome with your list of commands, your calendar, a whole bunch of stuff down here. It's very interesting. Power button's right there. And then you've got this button, which I believe is reset. And uptime, which shows about four minutes. Uh, this is not the temperature currently right now. I don't know where this module is getting its information from, but I need to fix that. And the same for the time, uh, because I don't do military or 24-hour time is that what that's called we do 12 hour time now if we open this up and we go into dot config and we go into hyper right here everything is in here so if we go to hyperlint and we go into general this is where you'll find to edit your monitor config stuff okay uh this is where you get your keyboard your gestures everything about the color uh your decoration your rounding your blur you know all that stuff and there's your shadows you can change the color of that it would honestly be better if i opened this up in so i even have a t like a uh, coding editor here no i do not damn i should install one of those all right, so let's install VS Code. Okay, so gay code, install code, password, and there we go. Code's now installed. Now when we open this up and we go find code, there, see, that's a lot more efficient and it lets you change colors and do a whole bunch of stuff. No, it doesn't. It uses it as a way that you can't do it. Damn it. Uh, full screen occupancy so you can change whatever you want to uh, 
be whatever you need to be. So like 0 0.6. And then if you have a screen open, this will usually change to that. There's animations, miscellaneous stuff. So hyperlink logo, force default wallpaper, allow session restore. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. But the one thing I'm not seeing is the weather. That's the main problem. So uh, let's go continue to check the hyperlink config stuff. Because it's really, really annoying when the weather's wrong because I get excited. It's like, oh my god, it's really hot outside. And then I just ask, hey Google, what's the temperature outside? It's warm outside, never mind. It's not that warm, but it's warm. Yeah. So this, again, is the configuration for the clipboard and the emojis. And AGS is responsible for this bar and these widgets. So my guess is maybe it's in here. Oh, well, there's Kvantum. Interesting. Hyperlens right there. Uh, auto configurator, quick scripts. We got sway stuff in here. Get keybinds, hyperlink configurator, workspace actions, services. So brightness, dark mode, Gemini indicator, messages, sway tool, waffles, wallpaper. See, it's still not here though. What is Baru? Uh, import services. Oh, Baru is another one of those weird porn app things. Ah, user options. APIs, defaults, tool. So again, it's just AI garbage. It's AI garbage wherever you go. Uh, anything related to the weather in here? There's the, I don't know what it uses. Monitor bar config, load monitor shell from user options. Interesting. Hmm. So that's more monitor type stuff than anything else. What does this initialize? Resets music style. So this really doesn't do much. Read the XML file, it says. Load current color scheme, parse the color scheme, generate overrides, compile and apply. Okay, let's check this. Uh, material symbols, XOR RAND, whole bunch of other stuff. There's nothing in there. This is the main config file. This deals with the dock, the corners, the indicator, OSK, sessions. There's the cheat sheet in there. Yeah, that's not it either. I mean, I'm looking here through modules, but I don't really notice really anything that could be related to it. I mean, there's common widgets in here. Click closer region. Uh, like, there's a lot of stuff that you can do in here. And the only way I would know is if I actually went to their Discord. Thankfully, they actually have uh, a Discord. Yeah, it's sunny. I get it. But where is it sunny? It's not here. System, tray, workspace. So music, space left, uh, space right. What are you? All right, so resource, audio, blah, 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 common widgets, math funks. Hmm. 
Well, when in doubt, what we technically could do is ask AI. Because I would like to know exactly what's going on. And I would like to know right now. And it's one of those things that could actually help. And find me what handles the weather and time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's just see. Read system.js. Okay. Weather handling. Okay, cool. So module bar normal system. See, AI can help you in many ways, just not for configuring weird anime things. Uh, system. One I didn't look at. So, here we are. There's battery progress. There's the weather here. Let's see. Is that it? Okay, we're gonna need to log out and log back in. So I'm gonna show you what it did here. Now, what it did is it changed the format of time to make sure that it's going to not be 24 hours and it changed, you know, it to my location, my city, and hopefully that works. So, I'm oh, we got good news. The time is correct and so is the weather. Hey Google, what does it feel like outside? Seventeen. Mm, I guess whatever weather service they use is kind of an outlier. It's whatever. Okay. That's fine. That's, that's close enough. I mean, if I look at my phone... Did I forget my phone? I forgot my phone. It's probably pretty good. So, uh, I gotta mute the, uh, the, the audio. Not my audio, but uh, your audio. And we need to hit play. Look at that. works this little widget pops up we can pause we can play we can pause we can play it's really easy now we're going to look at the cheat sheet the way you uh so windows slash is the win cheat sheet pops it up and essentials for beginners action sessions windows management arrangement everything like that okay so if we needed to if we needed to make this a floating window well we can't uh, but if we needed to make something a float window, we would just press Windows Alt and Spacebar. Now, many of you may have noticed I've kept the dock from L uh, ML4W, uh, the starter kit, and I've also kept this. Uh, so I installed ML4W first. You may remember that video. And then I installed this over it. This replaced the configs perfectly, did everything it needed to do. And then I created a auto start file, in case you don't know you're able to do that. And for those who do know how to do that, not everybody knows everything. You're going to be one of those people in the comments. Don't do that. Right here, there's the auto start conf. So if I open this up, you can see all it does is execute the dock exactly the way it would in ML4W starter kit. Now, the main reason I went over to this to begin with was it just looks so much neater. And the fact that you can just change 
the color of everything by changing the dock, by changing the wallpaper. Well, not everything. This is the only thing that actually changes. I wish the file manager would change. I do. That would be nice. Uh, let's see what I have in pictures. Family stuff. Let's find one of my cyberpunkish wallpapers. I think it's this one. Okay. It's this one. So you hit control, I believe Windows control T. Okay. Uh, we're going to select type so that everything's at the top. We're going to go into wallpapers, not wallpaper. And I believe this is the one. Let's see what happens. Yep. There you go. It just changed colors. Now it's purple. Not the same purple as down here. I don't know how to make this affect this. I kind of wish that I had a dock. That would be great down here. Like it would include one. I would be in love with it. Like I don't think I would ever go back to Gnome because this is perfect. So yeah, uh, it's pretty interesting. And I like the key binds. They're pretty cool. So again, if I wanted to, uh, I can hit type on the wallpapers and Look how clean of an aesthetic that is. That's pretty crazy. And again, we only have three, um, you know, workspaces. But again, you can create more like you normally do. Oh my god, I forgot. This is a pixelated disaster. I hate this wallpaper. It screws in my head. It looks beautiful, but it's not for me. I used to, I used to experiment a lot with different things wallpapers and such so there we go that's a nice one that's really clean and smooth looking so again i'll link this in the description below and if you're interested in this look particular i can offer you the config file um, to turn off the corners and weirdness and also my bar file they will be in my themes channel in a separate thread where we stick dot files sometimes so remember to apply the linux rule Anyway, I just wanted to show this. This is pretty cool. I'm uh, learning slowly on how to edit things, change things, and yeah, have a great day.